Hey everybody, this is Dutch with the Mystic Mountain Homestead and today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of an update on what's been going on here. I've been chopping this tree down here and chopping it into pieces, working on getting it pieced out. That way we can get a, a dirt pad over here on the other side where this is at. Got to camp drive through with a bulldozer and stuff if there's a big old tree block in the way. So we're chopping that all up, getting that chopped down and everything. It's a one-man show. I've been doing this one day at a time for the last couple days. Just going at it. As you can see, though, I cleaned up this entire... Look at that. It's all cleared now. It was all a brush area before. I'm sure you've seen other videos of what it looked like. I got this all cleaned up over here. And I actually found gravel when I was bulldozing brush hogging originally. But I had to go back with a chainsaw and cut. cut cause look, look how big these were. So... That's pretty big size, you know, four fingers. So I chopped all that up. And that's what we've been doing here. Added some solar lights to, on the trees here. Going down the way. There's one there. And one over there. And there's one over here. And it's all solar powered. I got the um, chicken house completely solar powered now too. That'll be another video. So be sure to watch out for that. And I'll check this out, guys. With all the light from all the trees I've been cutting down, letting in more light. Look at all this green grass that's starting to grow up in here. I've seeded it last year, too. So that probably helped because if I let it grow up and go to reseed. But the light really makes a big difference. Got to have light for it to green. For green grass to grow. Before it was not green grass. So that's a, just a little short, quick update there. What's been going on here? Preparing for winter. What are you all going to do to keep warm? As you see, I'm chopping my firewood, multitasking, getting everything chopped up here. And I'm doing it. I'm not like I'm not going to go back and rechop it. I'm chopping it as I go in just straight size that I can use. It's just straight as I go through here. Anything that's big enough to save, it gets chopped up on the spot. Obviously, all that little brushy stuff are totally dragged off over here to this pile. Or I got another pile of back over there started. And there's a little spot on the, I hope you can't see this spot over there. I got a spot where there's wood that's too big that I'm saving. But yep, that's what's going on. Like, subscribe, share. Till next time, y'all.